Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at the relationship between the change in total central bank's gold position and the price of gold. This is a bar chart of the net change in total central bank gold position by year from 2004 through 2013. The central bank data for this video comes from the World Gold Council's Gold Demand Trends Report. As I have discussed in other videos, Prior to the financial crisis, central banks were net gold sellers. When the financial crisis hit, central banks switched from net gold sellers to net gold buyers. And central banks have been purchasing a consistent amount of gold almost every quarter since. Let's change the bar chart to a line graph. This is a line graph of the net change in total central banks gold position by year from 2004 through 2013. Let's compare this graph to the graph of the yearly price of gold. This is a graph of the yearly price of gold. If I overlay the graph of the yearly average price of gold with the graph of the net change in total central bank gold position, we can see that the two graphs look exactly alike. If I shift up the graph of net change in total central bank gold position, we can see that the graphs are virtually identical. This is a graph of the ratio of the yearly average price of gold versus the yearly change in central bank gold position created by dividing the price of gold by the change in position. With the exception of the two years when central banks changed from net gold sellers to net gold buyers, the ratio of price to change in position are two horizontal lines which suggests a consistent relationship. This is a bar chart of the change in central bank gold position by quarter since second quarter 2008. As I have pointed out in other videos, we can see a quick change from net sellers to net buyers once the financial crisis hit. Let's change the bar chart to a line graph and compare it to the average quarterly price of gold. When comparing the quarterly change in central bank gold position to the average quarterly price of gold, we can see that the graph of the price of gold is basically a smoothed out version of the graph of the changes in central bank gold position. This is a graph of the ratio of the quarterly average price of gold versus the quarterly change in central bank gold position created by dividing the price of gold by the change in gold position. The horizontal line that started when central banks became net gold buyers shows a strong linear relationship between central bank quarterly demand and the average quarterly price of gold. So we can see a relationship between the central bank demand of gold and the price of gold. Despite the central bank gold agreement attempts at curbing central bank gold activities effect, it is clear that central bank demand affects the price of gold and changes in central bank demand lends insight to changes in gold price. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.